What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Row 2 Division 1. This is the 10th episode in the series. We've now reached double figures in the series. But that's not the only thing we're celebrating today. It's also my birthday. Yep, my birthday has finally come around again. And I thought I'd make a new episode of Row 2 Division 1 for you guys as my present to you. It really is hard to believe that I've turned 17 today. Honestly, time goes by so quickly and none of you need to dispute my age at all. Alright, you can trust me. I'm 17 and not a day older all right 17 come on that's believable isn't it don't I sound 17 all right maybe not I'll admit it I'm actually now 23 sadly and I just can't deny the truth the wrinkles are a bit of a giveaway now I'm feeling pretty old but not to worry I'm still feeling motivated as ever and raring to continue to make videos for you guys and I really hope you enjoy this new episode of Road to Division 1 now if you missed the last episode we played three games got one draw and two victories and that meant that we had enough points accumulated to go up with the division 7 title to division 6 but before we start the new division off we get to open five premium gold packs from the store now obviously when I do a pack opening I usually do it live so you can hear my reactions if you will to the players we get from the packs but once again sadly for us these were packs 22 through 26 we once again failed to get anyone noteworthy so Ter Stegen still remains our best player from 26 packs and after these packs as well, you'll see I've got a free one from the store, a free gold pack, but again, failed to get anyone good. So 27 packs down, still our highest rated player is Ter Stegen at 82. It's been pretty poor, it's been pretty frustrating, I'm feeling like I've wasted a lot of money, but I'm trying to stay optimistic, I'm trying to stay positive, hopefully not before long, we'll get ourselves a really high rated player and something worth celebrating. But despite once again failing to get anyone noteworthy, I decided to quick sell the players who didn't find a new home after I put them on a transfer list and sent them to auction. That that helped me raise the coins I needed to make two new signings to our BPL squad and the first of which is the Chelsea goalkeeper Asmir Begovic. The former Stoke man has some really nice well rounded stats and I think the Bosnian will prove to be a good safe pair of hands for us between the sticks and the second new addition is a man who some believe is better than Mesut Ozil if you can believe that. You know who it is, it's Spencer's boy Dimitri Payet, who I managed to get hold of for two and a half thousand coins. I think both of these two players should be really good for us and will benefit the side nicely. They'll make us look even better of a team than we already are right now, as we look to stay undefeated as we begin Division 6. And after adding the two new boys to our team and also changing the kits, I was ready to go for the first three games in a new division. You need 19 points to win the title, so a minimum of five wins out of your total 10 games. We're still undefeated and climbing up the divisions pretty quickly, so I fancy my chances of keeping the back-to-back -back title streak going, and hopefully we'll begin well in this episode with three wins from three games. <laughs> Okay, so my opponent has a nice little 4 3 3 BPL side here with a front three of Atsu, Juf, and Ibarbo. This could be quite a tough game. Mane playing central attack mid as well. Got some pace in this team. Although he has got Murta Saka at the back, so I might have to abuse the three balls of Mane. Alright, so what I really want for my birthday is nine points from a possible nine. So let's get it done and let's get a win straight off the bat. Come on, Ugbona, come on, Ugbona. Oh my word, Mane is literally just blitzed past me and he chips it inside and the volley goes over the bar. What a huge let off that was. All right, come on, Begidi, let's do something here. Down the right hand side. Quick little roulette in your round one. Can you get around Fellaini? Uh, are you going to get around a bit of lag here? Still Megidi on the ball. And whoa, there's a lot of lag here, but still Megidi on the ball though. He'll play it through towards Dimitri Payet. There's a man running to the far post here, but Payet's going to take around Murtasaka himself and he's going to go for goal as well with the lag. Just being unbearable, Dimitri Payet spurns the best chance of the game. Wow, that was bad. Half time and the lag is severely affecting my play. My opponent's done quite well though in the first half. The lag not affecting him as much. He's done quite well to handle it. But for me, it's like I'm playing on dial up. I'm just all over the place right now. That's a great ball through towards Mamma Biram Juf, who is onside here and will surely score. And he's putting the ball over the bar. What a chance. No, that was Begovic with an incredible save. Asmir Begovic on his debut, saving my bacon. Well done, the Bosnian. And now Klein tackles Mert. Saka, we could be away here as we go down the right hand side. Klein through towards Mane, who has the pace on Barber. What a chance here! Sadio Mane, can he get himself inside? Still Sadio Mane, still Sadio Mane. Oh, what a save by Tim Howard! What a stop by both goalkeepers in just a couple of minutes, and it's still goalless. Yes, Fernando, good interception. Now a chance on the break through towards Sadio Mane. Flick it on if you can. This is quick counter attack in football as Fernando gets on the ball. Just about handled the lag there. Fernando through to Dimitri Payet. Payet on his debut, tries to take it around Murtasaka, still Dimitri Payet. And now, Docs presents the worst voice crack in a FIFA 16 commentary. Still Dimitri Payet, 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 Payet,
Pyatt, Pyatt, still Dimitri Pyatt, still Dimitri Pyatt, and he puts the ball into the back of the net, hits the underside of the bar and goes in, a bit laggy, and my opponent's now quit, I think, or connection just been lost, and the lag boots us both out of the game, I don't know, but that goal was a nice one from Pyatt, turned two defenders despite the lag, rifled it in off the underside of the bar, and let me guess, I'm going to get a loss for this, I would not be surprised if this goes down as a loss for me, or am I going to get the win? Hopefully the latter. A little bit of a heart and mouth moment there. I thought I was going to have my first defeat of the series due to that disconnect. But instead, we get ourselves the win. And Pyatt's goal separates us. Looking like a good signing already. Pyatt! So one win from one. Now let's make it two wins from two. I could use my fitness team for this one. But instead, Klein gets his healing card. The squad's just being given a fitness card. And we are all ready to go for our second game in today's episode. So my opponent has a 4-3-1-2 BPL side with a mix of League 1 as well. He's got Remy and Martial up top with Roberto Firmino supporting the two. That could be a strong, strong attacking trio. I've got to watch out for that. It's your ball, Fernando in the air, son. There you go. Now Klein down the right-hand side. Can you take it around Kurzawa? No. And it's going to go back to Trap, who's going to give it straight to Payet, who must score surely. Oh, wow, that's a penalty. That's a penalty. No. No. How is that not a penalty? How is that not a penalty? I miss penalties intentionally sometimes, to be fair, but how is that not a penalty? He literally just got a shove in the back when going to score. That has really, really annoyed me. How can you not give a penalty for that man? Seriously. Yes, Klein, well done, son. Now let's go on the break here. I can see Mane running through. What a ball that is. Sadio Mane is one-on-one, -on -one, and that's a great save by the goalkeeper, and the rebound is turned in by McGeady, and we deserve that. We should have had a penalty a few minutes ago. Got a little bit lucky for a rebound goal, but I don't care. We deserve that slice of luck, and we're 1-0 up. Good save initially by the goalkeeper, but it falls straight to McGeady, and he is not going to miss that one. 1-0 one to the boys. Perfect start. Kurzawa gives it straight to McGeady. Now a chance on the break here. Pyatt on the ball. Takes it round one. Plays it through towards Sadio Mane. Surely for 2-0. It's Mane onside. What a save by the goalkeeper, and again. Good save again by the goalkeeper, but as you can see, it falls straight back to one of my players. Sadio Mane getting a goal from a rebound, and it's 2-0. Oh, trapped with a bad piece of control here. And he's going to give it straight to McGeady, who's, I was going to say, trying to lob him, but that was terrible. But Marnie could go with a bicycle kick. Oh, my word. If that would have went in. Oh, mate, seriously, that would have been incredible. In control in the first half. Two goals up, six shots, five which on target. More possession and should have had a penalty too. Playing really well, looking on course for the second win of the episode. As Pyatt gets on the ball, takes it around a couple of players. Still Dimitri Pyatt on the ball. And still Dimitri Pyatt. And still Dimitri Pyatt. And still Dimitri Pyatt. And Pyatt, oh, mate. Mesut Ozil would have scored that. Alright, there's no point in going for goal here, so what I'm going to try and do is drill the ball into the centre with a drilled shot and see if someone can get on the end of it. So McGeady to take it, and he drills, drill it in, and that's exactly what I planned. McGeady drills it in, picks out Fernando, and my opponent is out of there. See you later, mate. You've gone. No disrespect intended to my opponent, but he really didn't play very well in this game. He'd had zero shots in the entirety of it, 56 minutes in. We'd had far more possession as well, and should have had a penalty too, and in my opinion, a much-deserved win for the boys, and that's two wins from two fantastic stuff all right so one more game let's get ourselves the third win of the episode and make it nine points for a possible nine exactly what i wanted exactly what i asked for let's get it done let's complete the dream start oi contract problems again i see Klein, mcgeady and Mane now pretty interesting hybrid this one Callahan, felipe anderson and hulk are the front three this could be quite a tough game it's your ball mcgeady on the turn son there we go taken juniga out of the game plays it inside towards Mane. Mane towards dimitri payet who is definitely onside payet goes for goal and this this guy has had a fantastic start, opens the scoring, and makes it 1-0. It's a superb ball, he holds his run really well, Payet, and once he goes through 1-1, one one, I had all the faith in the world. Payet puts it in, and it's 1-0 to the good guys. Fernando plays it through towards Payet, down the left-hand side is Mane, Mane through towards Dimitri Payet, is he going to get there? Oh, what a mistake by my opponent, Payet is through 1-1, one -on -one, and you'd fancy him to finish it, and you would be right, because he messed up the first time, but he doesn't the second. Payet is looking a real handful already really liking the look of this guy and we are two goals up going into the break got very lucky here took it a bit too far wide good save with the goalkeeper but it comes straight back to him and he's not going to miss that one with two goals up yes well done Yannick Balassi plays it through towards McGeady great chance on the break here there's a man out wide in Sadio Mane who should get on the end of that he'll play it inside towards Dimitri Payet Payet surely for 3-0 and it is hat trick just before the break Dimitri Payet this guy is fantastic and there we go three 
quits out of three. My opponent is out of there. See you later, mate. Three goals up going into the break. Pyatt with all three. He was fantastic. Pains me to say as a Millwall fan, but this West Ham kid's got some talent. Once again, though, I felt like it was a deserved victory. He played really well. Seven shots, six on target, 56% possession. Didn't manage to complete a single game in today's episode, but either way, three wins for three. That's the most important thing. And really good to get nine points from a possible nine to start a new division off. But that does it in the episode guys, so I just want to say a massive thank you for watching the video, I really hope you have enjoyed it. I know it's my birthday, but you know I'm working hard every single day to try and make my content as entertaining as possible for you, and I just hope you guys will understand just how thankful I am for your incredible support that's helped me get to where I am today. I hope you have a fantastic Sunday, much love to you all, and I'll see you for another episode of Road to Division 1 very soon.